Welcome to ISE's ETF and Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ETFs and ISE's indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, the Chief Derivative Market Strategist at Optionsource.net. ISE has a portfolio of more than 20 proprietary indexes based on a diverse range of fast-growing industries and emerging markets. Our team of indexing experts is dedicated to creating these innovative indexes and partnering with issuers to launch unique investment vehicles. This includes exchange-traded funds, exchange-traded notes, and other structured products. ISE continually enhances its trading platform and develops new index products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISE ETF and Index Outlook for October 15, 2012. This is Patrick Sresna. As always, we start off with a chart of the S&P 500 using that Spider Exchange Rate Fund symbol SPY. Uh, we uh, have now had an S&P 500 that is rejected off of that 147 overhead focal point, creating what at this point could be a double top. Uh, there is further support to the double th the top uh, kind of storyline because both the Dow and the NASDAQ have already broken those midpoint pivots. And so for the S&P to follow, it would be uh, very natural. Uh, and while we certainly have had um, uh, four or five days of uh, straight selling uh, and are overdue for some form of a market bounce, uh, there is increasing probability that we have at least seen uh, the short-term high uh, of the market. Now, what uh, will certainly be the big tell is going to be the magnitude of the correction that follows. If we have just a modest multi-week market correction that uh, contains most of the selling uh, even up to the, let's say, 136 to 138 level, then in fact it would probably result in a buy on dip opportunity. Um, and it would only be if there was an accelerated uh, some material reversal of the trend we've seen of the last four months that would uh, create complications or problems with it. At this juncture, uh, we are um, cautious. We've uh, we've been suggesting over the last several weeks that we only felt that was limited upside and that the risk reward proposition was very poor. Nothing has changed from that. We now uh, see that the overhead resistance is material, so we're going to just gauge to see uh, how a market correction looks here and uh, and where it will result the move to go. Next year, I want to take a look at the IC uh, natural gas index, which is symbol FUM. Uh, the underlying commodity of natural gas has been doing very well, but many of the natural gas stocks have actually had a lack of follow through in this last push. Uh, this is a, a important tell because if we don't see any material strength um, in the net gas stocks uh, to follow suit with that, that of the underlying commodity. When the commodity does correct, it would likely lead to further selling in those natural gas names. And so in fact, uh, uh, this is not very bullish the way that they're behaving. And uh, at this stage, if let's say natural gas uh, as a commodity was to top out at um, 370 or 380 on the upside, and this uh, natural gas index is no better than a retest of let's say the 110 to 112 areas, uh, then it is likely that the next round of selling would be a material one that could see even not only testing in that 103 level we have marked off, but we could see go back to 100 or even down to the mid-90s during a, a corrective phase. Next year, I want to take a look at the IC uh, Chindia Index, which is symbol ICK. And uh, what we've seen here is a uh, material uh, strength over the last couple months as we've made those uh, July, August lows off that double bottom. But we've now uh, fully retraced higher to uh, a couple of Fibonacci retracement zones. And at the same time, we have uh, a distinct loss of momentum as there's very little progress being able to be made much higher than this 50 level on the upside. Really at this stage, uh, the more uh, resistance there is up above, the greater likelihood that we will see a, a corrective pattern, one that is most likely not only going to retest that 47 level uh, focal point down below, uh, but we could even see $45 if um, the selling was accelerated. More than likely, a uh, uh, sell-off here would most likely lead to a buy on dip opportunity. Finally, I want to take a look at the ISC Global Copper Index, which is symbol ISC, and uh, copper has continued to correct um, uh, since it's making that uh, really big pop high off of the Fed announcements. Uh, the, the corrective pattern we've been seeing is 
uh, is is continuing to suggest uh, further weakness can be uh, seen probably all the way back down to 320, where all the highs came in during the during the June, July, and August rallies. Uh, at this stage, uh, uh, will most likely lead to a buy on dip opportunity, like we've suggested in a lot of other indices. But it doesn't change the fact that it's likely to go lower, even as many as 20 points uh, in the upcoming weeks. That was your IC ETF and index outlook. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Patrick Ceresna and to sign up for free ETF and index trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE's indexes and ETFs, visit us at www.ise.com forward slash ETF.